Hello, welcome to the fifth grade lessons. Bienvenidos a las clases de quinto de inglés. Cuando aparezca el símbolo de Students Book, debemos abrir el Students Book en la página que indique. Si nos indica Activity Book, debemos abrir el Activity Book en la página que nos indique. Cuando aparezca el símbolo Notebook, debemos abrir la libreta y escribir lo que se indique a continuación. Cuando aparezca este símbolo, stop. Paramos el vídeo. ¿De acuerdo? Vamos allá. Lesson 1. Look at the pictures. Look at the photos. We have photo number one, photo number two, and photo number three. Now, read the texts. We have three texts. Then, you have to match the texts to the correct photos. Después, vamos a unir los textos con cada foto. Ok, number 14. Read about bike safety. Leemos sobre la seguridad en la bici. Then, look and say the letter. Después... Mira y di la letra. Vamos allá. Number one. Ride your bike in a cycle lane. Monta tu bici en un cycle lane. En una línea de bici. Es decir, en un carril bici. Number two. Wear a helmet to protect your head. Viste un casco para proteger tu cabeza. Number three. Wear colorful clothes and have a colorful pack. Viste ropa colorida y ten una mochila colorida. Number four, have a bell on your bike. Ten un timbre en tu bici. Bell, timbre. Number five, stop when you see a red light. Detente, para. When you see, cuando tú veas, a red light, una luz roja. Hablamos del semáforo, ¿no? The traffic lights. And number six, have lights and reflectors on your bike. Ten luces y reflectores, reflectantes, en tu bici. So, number one, with letter A, B, C, D, E, or F. Choose. Elige. Now, number 15. Listen and find the mistakes. Escucha and find the mistakes. Y encuentra los errores, encuentra los fallos. When you find the mistake, make a circle around the wrong word. Hacemos un círculo en la palabra incorrecta. Vamos allá. One. Ride your skateboard in a cycle lane. Two. Wear a scarf to protect your head. Three. Wear colorful clothes and have a black bag. Four. Have a basket on your bike. Five. Stop when you see a purple light. Six. Have lights and stickers on your bike. Okay, so we are on page 35, exercise 17. Look and label. Mira y etiqueta. Vamos allá. We have four words. Bell, cycle lane, reflector, and helmet. So put the words below the correct picture. Vamos a poner la palabra debajo de la imagen correcta. And exercise 18. Look and write. Mira y escribe. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. Tenemos seis frases. For example, wear colorful clothes, ride your bike in a cycle lane, look left and right, put a bell on your bike, 
cross at a zebra crossing and wear a helmet. So put the correct sentences in the correct traffic lights. Vamos a poner las frases en los semáforos correctos. We have traffic light number one, number two, number three, number four, number five and number six. Okay, now we are on page 44, exercise 16. Read and answer. Leemos y respondemos. Vamos a leer. I'm going to read sentence by sentence, so you can repeat after me. Voy a leer las frases de una en una y así, cuando yo acabe, podéis repetir después de mí, ¿vale? Vamos allá. Let's go. My name's Luke. Repeat. Come on, repeat. My name's Luke. On Saturdays, I help my granddad. He's a greengrocer at St. George's in Belfast. It's a really famous market. The shops in a market are called stalls. At the end of the day, we have to pack everything away and take it home. Now the green text. Vamos con el texto en verde. Next to my granddad's stall, there's Bill the Baker's. It always smells fantastic and sometimes Bill gives me cakes if I help him. There are lots of different stalls at the market for food, clothes, plants, and art books and comics. There are even stalls selling American biscuits and chocolate. So, there are some doubts, hay alguna duda, ¿verdad? For example, uh, on the blue text, in line number one, en la línea número uno del texto azul, dice, I help my granddad help, the verb help, el verbo ayudar. On line number four, stalls, puestos, puestos de un mercado. In the same line, en la misma línea, at the end of the day, al final, the end, al final, recordad, the end lo usaban en las películas, ¿no? Para decir que se acababa la película, the end. And the verb, pack away, to pack everything away, pack away, guardar. And take it home, y llevarlo a casa. Let's go to the green text. In the second line, it always smells smells huele on the third line bill gives me cakes if i help him if es la palabra si sí, condicional ponemos una condición si sí, i help him si sí, yo le ayudo let's go to the fifth line vamos a la línea número 5 a la quinta línea There are even stalls selling American biscuits and chocolate. There are even, even, incluso, even. Hay incluso stalls, puestos, vendiendo, selling, vendiendo, American biscuits, galletas americanas.
So, let's answer. Number one, what does Luke's granddad do? What does Luke's granddad do? ¿Qué hace el abuelo de Luke? Number two, which stall is next to Luke's granddad's? Number three, where is St. George's Market? ¿Dónde? Where? And number four, why? ¿Por qué? This is a question word. Why? Why does Bill give Luke cakes? Why? ¿Por qué le da Bill tartas a Luke? 